Hi, everybody, and welcome to another Linfield Coaches Catch Up for the Linfield Men's Basketball Program. Joe Stewart here with Head Coach Shannon Rosenberg. Coach, how you doing today? Doing just fine. Get ready for our two last games. I know, and there are a couple big ones. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, but first, let's break down last week's games a little bit. Uh, you had a great win here at home against George Fox, but on Tuesday night, a tough loss uh, in Forest Grove at Pacific. Just fallen 66-63 couple of plays go differently you know that easily could have been a win for you guys uh what did you chalk up to that uh, type of loss after the team had just been rolling right into that game bad coaching <laughs> that's it that's it that's it bad down pat bad coaching i didn't do a good enough job getting them ready to play and we'll put it in the past then and it really seemed like you guys did because on friday night against george fox i mean again one of those games where you know you guys basically looked like world beaters the team was in sync on both ends of the floor um how was the team able to put Tuesday behind them and then just come out in such what seemed like one of the most prepared ways they have been all year on Friday? Well, I mean, we've got we, we've got guys that felt terrible about Tuesday, and um, you know they wanted to respond and they did. Yeah, I don't think it was really complicated. I don't think it was anything that that I did. I just think that you know they were um, they felt awful about their performance and. You know, wanted to make good on that at home, and they did. We really saw Trey Bryant have, we, well, we saw him have his best offensive game of the year so far. Uh, did not miss from the field and went for a career-high 23 points. What have you seen out of him? I mean, we know what he can do um, on the defensive end of the ball. We know what he can do as a playmaker. What do you see out of him that you really liked um, as a scorer in that game? Well, I mean, obviously just being more scoring-minded. I think being more aggressive. Um, with some opportunities, he's had lots of opportunities through the year, but has deferred, you know, much more than we probably need him to. Um, it's not that we need him to take over a game, but he's, you know, I thought he picked his moments uh, in a real brilliant way, and he's a very capable scorer, in my opinion. But you know, it's kind of a role and a mindset that he's still growing into. But for, for him to do that just makes everything better for the rest of our team. So it was nice for him to get a taste of that and anything that we can get to transition to him towards more of a you know a scoring mindset than a, um, I, I wouldn't say pass first. Mm -hmm. It's more just about recognizing when he has a chance to make an aggressive attacking play to score and then doing that because he has the ability. The team seemed really cohesive in that win on Friday, both ends of the floor. Everybody seemed to be just on the same page. Um, and one of the things that was most impressive to me was how they maintain control of the game end to end against George Fox. I mean, obviously there's been a lot of times this year where games have had ebbs and flows, including the first time you played George Fox, had a good lead for most of that. They made a late push uh, in that first meeting. What do you think it was on Friday that allowed the team to stay confident and stay in command of the ball game uh, pretty much wire to wire? I think the leadership of, of Dempsey, Max, and Aaron was a huge part of that. And I thought our guys off the bench played great. Um, you know, I thought Tomas and, and Alex and Jackson uh, in particular, but uh, other guys too that, that came in really give us some good minutes off the bench, um, especially when we were reeling a little bit. And we, I remember we took uh, the Tomas and I think it was Alex in, but we had, we had a group in there, I think, when we were, I wouldn't say we were on the rope, but we mm -hmm. were reeling a little bit. A little bit of, lead yeah. Right back up. And I, I just thought the guys, um, between the leadership of those guys and the and, uh, you know, our bench, our bench players being really engaged and ready to go. And, um, you know, we came out of the gate right away just playing spectacular defenses. We, I mean, they may have had, you know, I think half their possessions in the first five minutes of the game went to the shot clock. Yeah. So, which is for a team as explosive as Fox, that says a lot about um, our defense. Do you think that there is still another level defensively to get to, or is this kind of the way we've seen the team perform defensively over the last couple of weeks? Is this kind of the peak for this squad? Well, it can always get better. I mean, I, it can always get better. I think, and there's different, you know, tactical plans for different opponents, and so, but uh, you know, listen, it's it's now or never. Right. I mean, all teams need to be at their best this time of year, or. You know, season's end. <laughs> yeah. Well, and obviously a, a lot of that coming up this Friday, uh, you know, at PLU. At PLU, you know, you're currently about a half a game behind them in the standings, and the way the tiebreakers shake out, essentially, the winner of that game will probably finish first in the Northwest Conference standings, assuming the top teams play the way they're supposed to this yeah. weekend. Um, so with that amount of pressure going on, uh, going into this weekend, um, 
how are you keeping these guys um, prepared and even keeled against a game that also, the last time we saw them, obviously a lot of emotions in that game. You guys had to come back down from 19. We all know how that happened at the, what happened at the end of the game. What's the, uh, how are you trying to keep everything, you know, level going into Friday? Just, just prepare the same way we do every week. I'm not changing anything or doing anything different than we, than we have done all year long. I mean, our plan obviously is a, um, you know, we'll have a plan that, that maybe gives us, you know, a chance to focus on some things that I think will help us competitively. But there's no, uh, there's no speech, there's no uh, way we're going about practice or anything that's, that's any different. I think we prepare well for every game, and um, I think they, the guys all certainly realize what time of year it is. Yeah. So, I mean, there's... Uh, you know, I, I think when you focus on yourself and, and your, uh, you know, continued improvement and just, you know, constant improvement, I don't think you succumb to, you know, pressure the way most people perceive it. And I think our group is pretty darn good at that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you mentioned it earlier, a big piece of that is the leadership from your top three guys, Dempsey, Max, and Aaron, three incredibly talented players and three seniors who will be honoring this Saturday for Senior Day. Um, against Willamette, what have those three meant to this program? I mean, you know, they have seen a huge evolution of the program from when they first started and have really helped elevate this team to becoming year in and year out contenders in the Northwest Conference. Uh, just what have they meant for uh, this program here over the last five years for Dempsey and Max and the last four for Aaron? Yeah, I mean, they're incredible people. Um, you know, we'll have time to sift through that all when the dust settles and you know, say our piece and et cetera. But listen, I love those guys and uh, they've done nothing but uh, terrific things for their teammates, for a program, obviously an unprecedented amount of winning in the last, you know, especially in the last three or four years um, since they've been here and huge impact. But I mean, the, you know, and this year potentially we have an opportunity right now to, in my mind, win three in a row. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know last year it doesn't count, but um, kind of counts. Yeah, I, but you know, finish at the top. Twelve and two, and, yeah. And, and uh, you know, I I think that uh, that's way less important and valuable to me than just the, the amazing things they do as individuals, the way they make their teammates better, um, the way they have had great faith and belief in the things that we're trying to do, and um, the way they paid that forward. To the younger generation of guys will be here after they go. So I mean that, that to me, and just me personally, um, you know, as a coach and father and man, they've just really made my job, um, I think, a lot easier in many ways. But uh, just a joy to coach, and, and I'm going to just try to take in every last second of this coming week and weeks ahead to just have great enjoyment and a competitive spirit with those guys, and um, you know, take advantage of that while we have it. Yeah. And so we'll be honoring those three seniors this Saturday against Willamette tip-off at 6 o'clock. We'll, of course, have all the Senior Day coverage for you on the Linfield Sports Network. But we hope you come down and cheer on the Cats in person, especially those three on a very special day. And as I mentioned, on Friday night at PLU for one of the biggest games all season, essentially the regular season championship and first place, you know, number one seed in the conference tournament on the line. Big game on Friday. We'll have live coverage for you on the LSN audio but uh, if you're in the Tacoma, Seattle area, we sure hope you come and cheer on the Cats at PLU. Should be a great game. Coach, thanks for the time. Thank you, Joe.